What's going on guys? Welcome back to Learn Crypto and today's Oatmeal Update. My name is Nick Hellman, aka the Crypto Hitman. And we're here to give you some information. So, CPI data was just released. US inflation was 3.7% in August, 3.7% in August, larger than expected increase increase from 3.2% in July. That is a half a percent increase. This underscores the challenges with getting inflation down more. Gas was the biggest factor, accounting for over half the increase. Shelter, especially rent, also a big factor. So in my opinion, what does this mean? Inflation is higher than expected. We're probably going to see more rate hikes coming from the Fed in the future, probably another 0.25% at the very least in the, in the next meeting. Could put pressure on the stocks and Bitcoin in the short term. Now, let me compare this to the real numbers of that of Truflation provides. Now, Truflation is a new data provider that's been shouted out by Brian Armstrong from Coinbase and others that are looking to get into Web3. They're showing that the U.S. inflation is 2.69%, while the government reported a rate of 3.2%. Now, we'll see. A lot of big-name people use Truflation's numbers, but we know the government and the Fed uses their numbers, which is 3.7%. So what is causing the rise in inflation? It was hinting at a little bit. The inflation, I believe, is being pushed primarily by oil. And why are oil prices going higher? Well, you got the Ukraine and Russia war. You also had the United States, who is virtually energy independent, now barely has any oil reserves. And lastly, you just had Biden deny the operation of new areas in Alaska that were approved under the Trump administration. So you got a war going on. You got Biden climate change taking us from near energy independence as far as oil to shutting down oil plants and our oil reserves are nearly empty and then we had new uh, mining areas possible new drilling areas possible in alaska that were approved under the trump administration biden just reversed those so those are no longer coming into play not good now on the rent side we see big conglomerates and institutions such as blackrock fidelity and others buying up heaps of real estate what does that do that constrains supply when the demand is there, there's nobody, nowhere for anybody to buy affordably, and then they're forced to rent. Well, who controls the rent, though? All these big institutions. So they get to deem and work together on what they want the rental prices to be. And right now, they continue to rise. On top of that, you have utility prices like natural gas and others that have slightly rise year over year. You know, you can look at your Ameren bill, your Spire bill, your water bill, and you'll notice every year they simply continue to go up. So... I don't know where the inflation data really is, 2.69%. I like that a lot better, but we are seeing 37 Another Fed rate hike is coming. Pressure on stocks, pressure on Bitcoin. Oil will continue to rise until the war and the energy uh, independence situation is solved here in the United States, which under the Biden administration probably isn't going to happen until the presidential election of 2024. Also, I don't see this war ending anytime soon. So if you're long oil, it's probably a good play. But also if you're long oil, you're betting that uh, U.S. inflation continues to rise, which is harder on yourself, your own pocketbook, and your common man. So it's kind of a lose-lose situation going on right now with inflation inflation, and where the components that are pushing it higher are coming from. But that's kind of the oatmeal update today. We're talking about CPI. We'll look for the raise. And uh, yeah, we'll keep an eye on Bitcoin here. I think there's a high probability that this, you know, pattern repeats itself. You know, I have a rally down around and a rally down around and a rally down around and what do we got here? A rally down around potentially end and this could be based off of inflation data and uh, the fear of an interest rate hike. Again, we do have very high levels of shorts down here. Bitcoin is near a bottom so uh, it doesn't take much for this thing to get going but not good CPI news, not good inflation news and we'll be on a live show later today to talk deeper about stocks, crypto, and more technical analysis, fundamental analysis, and news right here at Learn Crypto. And if you want 24-7 access to Todd Butterfield and myself, join us, patreon.com slash learn crypto. Peace.